Okay, wow, I just found the money shot. Look at this. This is so freaking awesome. Check this out. This is crazy. To recap, the only thing you need for this build are the three carom bits and a threaded rod or something like it. Everything else will come with the carom bits, the string, the sheet and stuff to stay safe. Super easy, extremely satisfying build. Oh, it's so safe. <laughs> no, seriously, stay safe kids. For a toy, this is a really bad idea. Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night No time to lose, one day, one step In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Wednesday in our day, another chance to push out And the topic for this one is, well, I will show you how to build DIY Wolverine claws with carom bits So let's get it, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers Thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video As I said in one of my last vlogs, there are essentially two build possibilities One easy build and another more complex but better build I think. In this vlog I will start with the easy build. I saw this on YouTube, it's a, it's a fairly simple build. Pretty much anyone will be able to do this build, well to get this done. And there is a more complex build which will involve carambits as well but more like recycle them. And if you're interested in, in yet a another build, well in this better build, then check out this vlog. It's gonna be good because yep, this will be, this will be on another level, that's for sure. But anyways, let's start with the simple one and for that you will need three carom bits. You can get them fairly cheap from China. I have two tiger tooth, saber tooth, I don't know, and a silver one. The other build will involve three crimson web ones. Other than that, well I saw a few videos of a guy who built this and he used a wooden stick, a lot of super glue and velcro. Okay, well first of all I need to find a stick. The stick needs to go right here and he was grabbing this stick resulting in this basically and then he fixed the rings with a velcro to his wrist so that when he hits something and you know otherwise it would do that when you hit something so this needs to get fixed oh this is <laughs> this is not convenient at all okay so the first thing that we can do is to hey check this out they come with a sheet and a string very helpful for this build so let's untie this string so you should have three sheets and three strings oh my god i'm so going to get hurt we can definitely start with simply tying up the rings super simple just a simple knot and another one on top there it is and now we have a lot of string left that's actually a bit too much let me fix that okay that's better as you can see and now we have a lot of string left and now I would suggest, I would invite you to just wrap the rings because these edges are nasty. You could also use paracord for this, but since we have the string, why not use it? Okay, so I wrapped it a few times. Yep, this is looking good. Let's keep on wrapping. The inventor of this construction, I think, is Brain, Brain Technology. He didn't do this on his build, so this is already the first improvement. I think this would, yeah, this would actually improve his build quite a bit. He just used super glue. Well, in this area right here, he used a lot of super glue. At least it looked like it. But I think if you just give it a good wrapping, a good wrap around the rings, it's not even necessary. And I think it will also look better. It's already looking decent. Check this out. So these are the three rings wrapped. Now I just need to somehow do a knot somewhere. I think I will just use the middle ring for that. Go through once and then I will just do the simple knot again. You know this simple one just like that. Yeah that's actually, that's actually it I guess. That's kind of cheap but yeah. For now this should do. It's just a prototype. Okay, now we have the bottom part fixed together. So that's already something. Now this has already a bit of structural integrity as you can see. This is already 
holding up quite nicely. So next up, we need some sort of a stick right here. He just used wood, like if, I don't know, it looks like trash. I might use a threaded rod and wrap it. Yeah, I think I will actually use a threaded rod. So check this out, I just found this one. This is a bit too long. This would easily last for two. Something like that. Actually, why not just, why not just freaking break it? Or a video. <laughs> Magical. Okay, now we have this. Well, smoother edges always take the win. So now we need to spread them out in a, uh, well, meaningful way, I guess. Now, yeah, it's like, oh, well, obviously one finger in between. <laughs> take another sheet, another sheet right here and remove the cord. This is so awesome. It's literally, like, you don't need anything for this build except except one one rod, threaded rod or something like that. Okay, and we will start with another sim- This is gonna be so simple. I will probably redo this build in a future vlog. I will link it right here. I will redo this build with paracord and go for, for nicer wrappings. For a nicer wrap, wrapping, whatever. That might be cool, but for now, simple not simple, simple build will do, I guess. Just like that, put the string on the, on the outside on, and then start to wrap like do something i guess literally have no idea what i'm doing right here i just went two times okay three times across then once on top bring it through now we are on the other side okay now we need to make sure that we have a good spacing okay now we can Start cross on this side. One. Oh, this is so dangerous. One, two. Three. Okay, now we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back to the middle. Right here. Oh, this is a bad tutorial, I'm so sorry. And then we'll go across in the middle. One. Two, and three, this is where it ends, perfect. Now check this out, we have the two ends right here and we could just, for the sake of simplicity, connect these two ends. Simple knots as always, and hey, there it is, it's done. <laughs> This was easier than expected. It's not perfect, so it's not super stable, super sturdy. Okay, so I just learned one thing. It would be a good idea to go for a, lo for a longer threaded rod. Pretty much this length right here. You can measure it with your fist and then like one finger on each side because this one is almost too short. I'm still able to grab it with my fingers as you can see, but yeah. That's the thing right here. Oh my god, this is such a perfect build, can you believe it? And with our last, with our last sheet, well, with our last string, that is, this is unbelievably perfect. Velcro would be easier, but hey, since we have it, since we have these strings available, we will just do it with the string. Okay, now we will solve this problem by just doing the knot back on top and then doing another one, just like that. Pretty much like that, but first we need to go through. We take it like this, go through the ring once, and then do a knot on top. Do a knot on top, just like that. Which will result in a loop. This is perfect. Now we can slip our wrist through this loop. This is actually the wrong way. Oh, no, actually, well, if you do it like that, you can make it a bit tighter, which will then give you better results when you hold it and use it. Wow, this is so cool. This is such a perfect and easy build. I can't believe it, seriously. And yeah, that's the thing right here. When you hit something, this string will hold it in place. So yeah, it's done. So now there is only one thing left to do. Oh my God, this is actually crazy cool. Wow, I can't believe it. Let's actually slice my 
No, I'm not going to do this. This is actually really freaking cool. It does hurt though. Using it does hurt a bit. Yep, you can stab perfectly. I guess I need to sharpen them a, a bit. Oh god. Oh, this is painful. Oh my god. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> it's looking cool, but and it you can hold it. And it feels really cool when you hold it, but using it actually puts a bit of strain on your fingers. It's not really that visible. It also will damage your wrists a bit. But hey, it does work and it's pretty cool. I would need like soft tissues, <laughs> soft fruits and stuff to slice them. To recap, the only thing you need for this build are the three carom bits and a threaded rod or something like it. Everything else will come with the carom bits, the string, the sheet and stuff to stay safe. Super easy, extremely satisfying build. Oh, it's so safe. <laughs> no, seriously, stay safe, kids. This is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> for a toy, this is a really bad idea. Get wrecked. Okay, so there it is, that's the build. Wolverine claws made with carom bits. Easy build, it's fun, it's satisfying, as I already said like a thousand times. Next up will be a more complicated build. And this will hopefully be more convenient to use because I plan on going for stuff, you know, slicing up all kinds of things. So you better bang this bell. But yeah, that's enough progress for today's smash. Oh, I gotta be careful. The like button, the way I smash this awesome build. Freaking flawless. Perfect victory. Anyways, bang the bell like <laughs> to never miss Terabit related vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.